Today I'm going to be showing you how to get a Keynote presentation to play on a Windows computer. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is open up your Keynote presentation. And I just made a quick little one with a couple slides on what I'm going to be teaching you today, how to um, get it to play on a Windows computer. So once you have your slideshow, you're going to go up to File and then Export. And you're going to have a bunch of different options here. You can export it as a QuickTime movie, a PowerPoint presentation, a PDF, into images, flash, HTML, or for an iPod. So um, you can export it as a PDF file with its best quality and things like that. But you're not going to get any transitions or effects. And that's the same with a PowerPoint presentation you will be able to play it on there but you will not have any of the keynote uh, transition or effects and you'll have to like make new ones in PowerPoint uh, so your best option would be to export it as a QuickTime movie and you do this because it's good quality you have all the transitions and all the effects and um, it when you go to change a slide, you click to change the slide so it's not timed, so you don't have to worry about rushing or anything like that. And uh, it plays on most computers that have QuickTime. So you just got to set your settings here. Um, you can have a fixed time or you can do manual advance. Manual advance is where you click to change this through the slides, but you can also change it to uh, fixed timing and you can set the slide duration the slide duration and things like that and you can set it to enter full screen mode when you turn it on so I recommend that too so manual advanced if if manual advanced if you want to manually go through your slides uh, click by click and I suggest that you check off enter full screen mode when open that's just easier um, formats you can do whatever you want, but if you want the best quality out of it, I would suggest full quality large for your format. Uh, and you can check off, include audio sound files and things like that, include transparency. Um, you can do all that, whatever you want. And then once you have that done, you click next and save it as whatever you want, wherever you want, and then click export. And what it's doing now is it's going to run through all the slides and transitions and break it down into a QuickTime movie. So you'll see a little preview of what it is in kind of slow motion, step by step. Shouldn't take that long. Depends how many slides you have. So now, that's done. and it's right here on my desktop so then all you have to do would be send that to your an email account or put it on a flash drive and open it up on the Windows computer and this is what it should look like it enters full screen mode and now I'm gonna going to click There we go. You have to click right on the slide, not the black section like I was doing. Double click. And here you have all of your transitions and effects, things like that. And it looks a lot nicer, great quality. So that's all there is to this. It's very simple. And then there it's going through it again and click escape to get out of that. And that's all there is to it. Um, very quick and easy. Just You can export it as a PDF if you want, but you won't get any of the transitions and things. But it, it would be um, better if you don't have that much uh, so, like space 
uh, it is a smaller file if you export it as a PDF, and it is larger if you do a movie. But it's your preference, whatever you like. If you're going for quality and transitions, definitely go with QuickTime. So thanks for watching. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and check out my blog at www.blakestechblog.com.